KitchenAid has been cooking it up in our kitchens for over 100 years. Number one best-selling brand of stand mixers in the entire, not the country, in the entire world. But what we have today is so special. What we have today, we have never been able to bring you before. It has been three years since we have been able to bring you any kind of kitchen aid as a today special, three years. So what we did is not just bring in another brand of the kitchen aid, it's another, it's a, it's a good one. You know, this is one of their top of the line. This is their commercial quality. This is the, the one you want because this is how you now can raise and lower not just a huge capacity six quart bowl, but never again have to lift this thing up. This is stationary. This is also, by the way, completely made of metal because this is gonna last you year after year, decade after decade. But this is my favorite thing. Being able to raise it up and lower it now just with this little lever that is so simple. In addition to that, our, our value is absolutely unmatched. I'd love for you to go and Google and shop and do anything you want to because what you're not gonna find is this price, not only not this price, but this price with all of these accessories included for a price today of $349.99, free shipping and five flex payments, get this home for $70. So normally this, would, this uh, offer would include your whisk and your, um, your dough hook your regular paddle, and then it would also include this pour spout and, um, and cover. But we're also including for you right here an additional $50. This is your flex paddle, which acts kind of like a spatula when it turns. So that's included. The value of what you would normally pay right here, I think, um, I think that normally this would be in the stores, if you go out, $549.99 almost $550. So you start by saving $200 off that, but then we're throwing in the, the Flex Edge Beater, another $50 value. So today you are actually saving $250 on the number one best selling brand when it comes to stand mixers in the world, on the planet, I love it. Which is why we have already sold out of five colors, okay? I think this is gonna be the next to sell out. Um, this is our Aqua Sky. We have 120 left. We expect that now to sell out in this presentation. In addition to that, our best seller is right over here, which is our stainless steel. But I will tell you, we have 800 left now. We have sold, uh, do you know how many we have sold of this, Jared? We have sold over 1,200 of these, okay? So final 800 now of the stainless, and I will tell you again, this is our top seller. We have other, um, another exclusive color down here in the front, which is gonna be our passion red. It is a lipstick red, it is gorgeous. If you want that, I have the final 370 there. And then right back here is our empire red. It's a little bit deeper, it's a little bit richer. And uh, we have about 1,200, so that is our best quantity story. But again, if you want the aqua, if you want the stainless, you should be, and even if you want that passion red, you should be ordering those three right now. Let's get to it because we want to show you really truly the power of what you're getting here. We're talking about, I think it's 575 watts of power. So we're talking commercial quality. We are talking the power you want, the capacity, six quart capacity. This can do actually a total of, are you ready? 13 dozen, 13 dozen cookies all at one time. You don't have to keep making batch after batch. 13 dozen cookies. You did three cake mixes in our last yeah. presentation. She could have done four, okay? She's holding back. But this is Amy Garten. I don't want to show off. <laughs> this is Amy Garten, and she's gonna show us some of the ways you're gonna use your new KitchenAid. And we have been asking everyone to tell us how long you've had your KitchenAid. And I think our, our top answer so far was 65 years. 65 years. I think that is just 
amazing. I mean, I have KitchenAid stories in our house, um, and I think everyone does, and that's what's so, I, what I love about KitchenAid is it is passed down from generation to generation. Your grandmother had it, who passed it on to their daughter or son, who passed it on to their daughter and son, and just upgraded themselves, because they are, KitchenAid is made to last. They really are, it's that all metal construction. This bowl lift style that we're, we have for you guys today, it's I'm my favorite. so excited, because we have, <laughs> we've been, haven't had these, you know, to be able to offer in so long. But the bowl lift, this is the traditional model way, way, way back, 1919 when these started. The bowl lift was that first model. So we're just bringing it back. What the bowl lift is different from the tilt head is they have, it can hold the capacity and it can do all those bigger loads that you wanna do. 13 dozen cookies, eight pounds of potatoes, eight pounds of um, dough. And then all you do, it's a simple lever that you just lift up and down, and I'll show you how to take that off easily, but I wanna show you right here, I have two batches of cookies. This is a double batch of my chocolate chip cookies, but it's kind of fall season time, so I like to add a little uh, maple syrup and some apple butter in there. And I'm gonna show you this pour spout. So. I'm sorry, the pour shield. So it's BPA free, this can go in the dishwasher, but look how great this is when I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my flour. I don't have to worry about it making a mess because that pour shield just allows me to slowly add my ingredients in, more in like a one directional, and it's gonna get all my ingredients in there. I've got my up a little too high. And it's gonna incorporate everything so beautifully better. Now imagine, I'm making, I've got a, the double batch here. Can you imagine if I had to sit here by hand and use and stir myself and stir, stir, how tedious and tiring that would be, or mm -hmm. even just a handheld mixer. But instead, I'm gonna let the KitchenAid do all of the work for me and do the heavy lifting. This is the chef. I'm the sous chef. <laughs> this really does the job for me. But I'm gonna go ahead and take that pour spout off, the pour shield off. So easily take that off. And then I'm gonna put my chocolate chips in here. And I'm gonna show you just how nice this combines it. It's got that soft start. So when I turn it on, it's just gonna turn on softly and then kick up into speed so it doesn't pout, you know, puff everything out. A little softer and then it's, and it's gonna get all my chocolate chips incorporated in there perfectly. So I don't, again, I don't have to do the hard work. It's just gonna mix it on there for me. And I can make up to 13 dozen cookies in one batch. <laughs> my, Are, my, produce, spoon? My, produ <laughs> my producer just said if you want to bring that batch of cookies back into the into the, the the booth he'd love it i said i'll bring the spoon okay oh my gosh bring the spoon. <laughs> but look i mean look at this look at this amazing cookie dough and i'm gonna just take that's how you take and i'm using my flex Flex edge beater there. Mm -hmm. It takes right out. It's coated Maybe I'll so you just can put bring in the, you the dishwasher. Flex edge beater, okay? Oh my gosh. But look <laughs> that looks at that cookie good. dough that oh. I did not have to stir myself. Right. And six quart six quart. So bowl. how many dozen stainless so, so you can do up to thirteen dozen cookies. Thirteen right dozen in here. cookies. Just imagine how hard you would have to stir. I have tennis elbow. Oh my gosh. I don't I even just, play tennis, but I could not, not possibly fun. stir no. all of that. And you know, cookie dough particularly can be very kind of heavy and hard to do. This is your day. This is the day you have been waiting three years for. We've not been able to bring you any KitchenAid as a today's special for three long years. But to bring the one that gives you commercial quality, to bring the one that has this, I, I've got to show you this again. This is my all time favorite The bowl feature, lift. The bowl lift, look at, just all you do. And it's simple and easy, okay? But I always, and I'm, I'm sorry to say this on national TV, but I am. I always kind of was a little bit nervous about working with the KitchenAid because I, you pull that thing back, it's metal, it's heavy, and I was always kind of afraid it might tip over or something. You don't have to worry about that anymore because all you're gonna do is this and this and this. <laughs> I could do it all day and long. It's, easy. it's so awesome. But if you want, okay, I'm, I'm telling you right now, the, if you want it in the, in the um, stainless steel, you need to be ordering it. This is not gonna last much longer because it is selling that fast, okay? We've sold out of five colors. I'm down to the final four. We expect it to be down to the final three because that uh, <laughs> aqua is also gonna sell out. This, this pretty one, one is also, oh, oh, oh that's this sorry, one. that pretty one. I've got yeah. the pistachio. Okay. That I have 750 now if you want it in that stainless steel. So again, that could sell out in this presentation. We expect this aqua to sell out in this presentation. This is the time of day 
day when you really can't wait any longer because well over half of our quantity gone and fast approaching two thirds of our quantity gone for the day. I just wanted to show how easy it is to take that bowl out. It's got this great comfort handle on it. So it's that six quart stainless steel bowl, great comfort handle. And I'll show you a little later too again how easy it is to do. But think beyond baking. This is this chicken is that she's doing, that, right? Yes, you can do use this Look for every that. day. Make your life easy. You know, take the work off of you. Spend more time with your family and friends. But I'm gonna shred my meat in here. You can shred pork, you can shred chicken. But just make sure you cook it. I like to cook it with like a, in a slow cooker. Make sure it's moist. And then you put it into the your KitchenAid and it'll shred it for you so beautifully. So if you're doing chicken tacos, chicken enchiladas, if you're doing a casserole, I'm gonna make a dip for you here because, you know, it's football season. So I love to have a little spicy dip. And then what I love is with this six quart bowl with the stand, with this, the bowl lift, there's so much room around the sides. And when I do drop that bowl, I have even more room around the sides to easily add all my ingredients. I'm gonna add my tomatoes and chilies. And then of course, I like to do the sh supermarket shortcut and just add my jar of cheese, queso. Why I'm, not? I'm gonna just switch to this side. I'm right-handed, so it makes it a little more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's a little hard well, when we make we her go. do it kind of upside down yeah. and backwards. I don't know what, so what the problem is. I'm going to go ahead and add my cheese. <laughs> and then, of course, my taco seasoning. And I have my cream cheese. And I'll put this all in here. And then I'm going to let, again, my kitchen aid do the work for me. I, I think a lot of us would never have thought you could do this with mm -hmm. a stand mixer. I think you think of stand mixers. Well, I'm making cookies or I'm making a cake or I'm yep. making, you know, this or that. This for making my dips and things for, mm -hmm. I, I never thought, I know you're gonna use it for, for pulled pork later. I never in a million years thought that I would use a stand mixer to, to pull my pulled pork. But this is KitchenAid, it's right. different. It is different because you really, you do think beyond just the cakes and the cookies, which you can, you can do all those cakes and cookies, 13 dozen cookies, three full cakes can fit in one, which I will show you. But thinking beyond, you can absolutely just do everything. So I'm doing, I'm making this delicious uh, chicken queso dip. And I just did my chicken, my tomatoes, my chilies, my cream cheese, my taco seasoning. And it's gonna do all the work for me. And then I can put it in a nice dish, top it with a little bit more cheese and some chives, stick it in the oven for a little bit. And I've got an amazing dip for whenever my friends are coming over for football, sports, or any time of the year. But again, chicken enchiladas, chicken tacos, pork, which I'll show you. So think beyond baking, but I love that. I'm just using just the flat beater in there. Right. And it's mixing everything for me. So again, I don't have to do the work. Mm -hmm. You know, I get to let it do it all by myself. Now I wanna show you the wire whisk here. So I'm gonna pour a little uh, vanilla in here. I'm gonna make some whipped topping for you. And how I like to do it is I like to use a little bit of instant pudding, because what it does is the instant pudding almost is like a stabilizer. It keeps it kind of lifted so that you can make this, you can put it in your fridge and it will last for days and not fall flat. And then of course I like a little bit of powdered sugar in there. But I'm gonna uh, whisk this up for you again. We have that slow start feature, so it's not gonna whip Right, and, and spread and blow everything, everything all over. And get, get everywhere. It's, it's gonna kind of slow start. But we, then we have up to 10 speeds. Look so as that. I get it going, so I'll get it up smooth. to speed 10. You can get creative with cooking now. So you can think, you know what? I'm gonna make espresso whipped cream. I'm gonna make pumpkin spice whipped cream. I'm gonna make other kinds of whipped cream because your kitchen aid will do it. You'll have more fun and get more creative you in your kitchen. You can make eggnog just, whipped cream. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're gonna have so much fun with this. This is a blast. But you know, this is what your memories are all about. This is what hol this is this is the definition of holiday. Yes. Because when you look back on your childhood or your time with your grandparents or your friends or your family, what do you think about? What do you talk about? It's all about the food, right? I'm not sitting there going, Oh, do you remember that bike I got when I was ten? <laughs> no. It is about do you remember those cinnamon buns? that grandma used to make, you know, every morning on, on Christmas morning. It's the food memories we make. This is something that, yeah, it's great for all your holidays. This is great for every day. You will not believe how much you will use it for different things because of the quality, because of the exceptional power of this. This is a commercial quality mixer. This is not just another KitchenAid. They have lots of different levels. This is your pro style. This is 575 watts of power, and this is that lift, 
so you don't have to lift that top thing ever again. That can be a little challenging for some of us. Never again, just as a little lever, you just push it down. Pull it up, push it down, just Look at like that. that. Just like that. Just like that. And I'm gonna pull my wire whisk out because I'm actually gonna get this out of here to kind of show you guys how amazing this whipped cream is that I made. And I love that you can just do this, and the KitchenAid gives you that confidence to make this right at home. And then, oh yeah. Here you go, Alice. I'm not <laughs> gonna be selfish. I'm gonna be extra generous with your whipped cream. There I, you I go. I love generous people. <laughs> I just love generous people. I just wanna. <laughs> I do. I You're you're so welcome. I'm just sorry, but I just want to put my face in that. <laughs> it is so good. But I, I, I love this. So I want to show you a couple features while you enjoy the whipped cream. <laughs> she made this for me a couple hours ago. I'm going to tell you, with the vanilla pudding added to the it. The instant pudding. Oh. The instant pudding. It adds this layer of vanilla to it. It is so delicious mm -hmm. and creamier. Okay, chocolate and wow. pudding, cheesecake. I can't I mean, even eat the cake. Pistachio, I don't care. You could just I make it so great. Cake. But I want to show you how to put this bowl on. So it is the six quart stainless steel bowl. There's a little nub in the back right there, and there's a little hole in the back of your KitchenAid. So what you want to do is that's going to go in the back, and then on the side you have two little handles with holes. You drop those in the peg, and then all you're going to do is push down. You mm. hear it. You feel it lock into place and then you are good to go then you grab whatever beater it is that you want to use whether it's your flat beater your flex edge beater which we're throwing in which once you use the flex edge, $50 value you'll, ne $50, you'll never go back because it's like a windshield wiper wiping the inside of your bowl and so instead of always having to use your spatula to get down there that flex edge beater is going to do all that work for you um this, and then this again this isn't fattening is it no, not at all. There's no, cal no <laughs> calories God for you. in there. <laughs> do, okay, you, do you see that? <laughs> they said if I eat it on TV, it doesn't count. It so doesn't count. I'm just going to go and for I it. And I want to tell you, too, so what I do love, mm. you know, we talked about the passing down of your stand mixers with KitchenAid. That power hub in the front has been the same since 1919. It has wow. never changed. So if you have any attachments, and we have more than 10 amazing attachments that are so great that will just up your kitchen game, that will fit in here. Any any uh, KitchenAid stand mixer from 1919, and they're going to fit in there. Pasta attachments. You can make pasta. Shank Do ice. you know what you spend just to just to, to buy a pasta maker and and it makes pasta and that's it. You're going to use this in so many different ways. And let me give you an update. Okay, like I said. Five colors have sold out. We have four remaining. We expect there to be only three after this presentation. The color you're looking at right here, final 100 now to <sighs> go around in the aqua. So My aqua favorite. is gonna go in this presentation. Right next to that is the stainless steel. We now have about 750 left. We have almost two thirds of our quantity in this is gone, okay? This has been our top seller as well. So please don't wait particularly on these two colors. So I have to tell you a little story about KitchenAid, how KitchenAid got its name uh, back when they were first designing an assembly. Oh, by the way, they are completely designed and assembled right here in the U.S., in that. Ohio, and I love that. I just love that. Um, but back when they were first being designed and made, they'd send these home to the executives' homes. And one of the wives said, I don't care what you call it, it is the best kitchen aid I have ever had. So that's where they got their name, which I think is so fun. And my grandmother, so I'm gonna make an angel food cake. Angel food cakes are, I think, a tricky cake to make because you have to get so much air in there mm -hmm. to get them to be nice and tall and light and fluffy. And my grandmother was always afraid to make one, but it's my grandfather's favorite cake, it's angel food cake. So she always felt like she wasn't confident enough to do it. When she got her KitchenAid stand mixer, she felt confident to make that angel food cake. Now, growing up, I only remember ever having angel food cake at my grandmother's house. I would have never known this until my mom told me the story that my grandmother was nervous to make the cake until she got her KitchenAid mixer. And then she just made them all the time and they were the most amazing cakes. Her um, KitchenAid stand mixer is still working and going strong. My Aunt Peggy has it, mm -hmm. and it's probably been like 50 years, and still going <laughs> strong. Look at the air that's going into my angel food cake mix, and it's just a box mix and water. That's all it is. Easy, but you're going to have the most amazing looking, light, fluffy, aerated angel food cake that people are going to drool over and ask you, how... How did you make that happen? It's your KitchenAid. It gives you the right. confidence to just do those things that you might think, 
Uh, maybe you I'll know, just go by. Confidence is Make one it. thing. If you don't have the right tools, it's not yes. going to get done right. Right. I don't care if you're cutting hair. I don't care if you're what, if you're a carpenter. You have to have the right tools. If you're in the kitchen, you need the right tools. This is the tool that yeah. is going to make everything the way it's supposed to be. Nobody, I, I don't care who you are, trying to hand whip things like, like an angel food cake or the right whipped cream or whatever. Oh. It can be so challenging, you give up on it, it doesn't turn out right, it falls flat. Now you're gonna have the results you want and you're gonna get it quickly, easily, but you're gonna get it today <gasps> at a price that we cannot repeat for the rest Look of the year. That, that is. is gorgeous. Look at how smooth it is. I mean, that smooth, even, creamy, that's what KitchenAid is known for. But you will use it in so many different ways that you never even imagined. All of a sudden, you will have the confidence and yes. the tool to be able to, to make dough. You can bake bread, you can make pastas, you can do all kinds of things. Yep, so what I love about the dough hook, and the dough hook is coated also so you can put that in the top of your dishwasher. Mm -hmm. The flex edge beater, the flat beater, they are coated, they're all metal construction, but we do coat them so you, it's a little easier cleanup. You can throw that in your dishwasher. The wire whip, you don't wanna put that in your dishwasher. But the dough hook, so what the dough hook does is it mimics your hands kneading. So instead of you taking 10, oh 15 gosh. minutes to, you know, That's oh my hard. gosh, your wrists and hands would hurt. Now when you use the dough hook, you only want it on speed two. That's the only speed you want to use. But it's gonna mimic what you would normally have to sit there and do with your hands for mm -hmm. five, 10, 15 minutes. It's gonna mimic that and you are gonna have the most amazing dough. So whether you're making focaccia, you wanna make pizza, you wanna get the pasta roller attachment and make your own pasta. It just is gonna elevate that game and then to give you confidence to do it. And then take away the stress and the worry off your hands and all that. I just, I, I love that dough hook. You will love the dough hook, but if you love the aqua, Okay, I have just about, what, six, I have six dozen left in the aqua. Okay, so we're counting those down now. That aqua is gonna be the next to sell out. Like I said, five colors gone. We will be gone with six colors by the end of this presentation. <laughs> but almost 4,000 now ordered on the day. Wow. So only a couple of thousand left. Here's the thing, if you want that stainless steel, you need to be ordering that one too, because that one, could, if, if it doesn't go in this presentation, I expect it to sell out in the next presentation. So that's gonna be your next to go. This yep. is the time, this is the day. You know, like I said, three years since we've been able to bring you any kind of kitchen aid as a today's special. Two years since we brought you any kitchen aid, they have been very difficult to get our hands on. What we have our hands on, that's it, okay? So get your hands on yours and then get your uh, hands on that. some dough that you have just and made. And my rosemary is Ooh, so it smells evenly. Good, doesn't it? You know, evenly spread throughout my, all my dough. Instead of me having to do it with my hands, the stand mixer and that dough hook is the magic thing. It's gonna evenly spread everything out in whatever you're putting in, you know, in your dough and so that you don't have to do that work. I love that. That spiral dough hook is just a game changer in your household. I love it. But I wanna move on to, so if you either, you know, say you wanna make your own buns, like your, you know, sourdough buns or mm -hmm. anything exciting, then you can do some fun pulled pork sandwiches for your family. So I'm going to use the pour shield again here. I've got some barbecue sauce, and I just have some and pork. I just, I just want everybody to see. Look at the pork that she put in. She didn't chop it up into nope. little pieces. <laughs> she just popped that big old pork shoulder in there, and now it's going to let the KitchenAid do the work. And so I like to keep the pour shield on, even if you're not pouring something in, but it just kind of helps So if there is a little bit of splatter or anything. But I love, again, it's got that soft start so you don't have to worry too much about it. But I've just, oops, sorry, let me pull that up. Um, I've just got my regular flat beater in here. It's great, it's just great for shredding all meats. And I'm gonna start that a little low and I'm gonna keep turning up a little bit and then I can walk away and again, let my kitchen aid do the work. It's gonna shred all my pork so beautifully, instead of me again, with my right. forks, standing there, trying to get it all shred, adding the barbecue sauce, just put it all in there. If you wanna add any fun seasonings or anything like we did with the chicken, mm -hmm. just get it all in there and it does the work for you. And you know, because of the fact that you never have to lift this up again, this never comes up. This is stationary because now you just have a little lever that raises and lowers your, your six quart capacity bowl. Because you do this, you can put this under your countertop or on top of your countertop and leave it, okay? Because it works beautifully back there and you can see it right over here
here on our cap. Look at that. So you never have to pull it out or anything else because that top is stationary. No more trying to pull it up and hope it doesn't tip over. You know, and those things are heavy because they're all metal. They're, they're heavy yes. for a reason. It's the quality that KitchenAid brings to each and every one of them. But this design is different. This is their commercial quality KitchenAid stand mixer. Number one, best-selling brand in the world. Okay, I'm gonna- In the world. I'm gonna go in get, here. Get, hey, get in there yeah, with your fork. I'm, going I'm gonna here. just do a little drizzle, but oh look God, how beautiful that is. Fork. And I didn't have to work hard. And what mm -hmm. I love, and too, how you showed the stand mixer over there, that's even lo a lower cabinet than what is okay. standard in Wait, a home. Maybe I, maybe I got a little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're fine. But I love here. how you can just, it fits right underneath your cabinets, and it just, it's such an iconic piece. It's in museums. Oh I mean, God. that's how amazing KitchenAid is. It's in museums, but I love love that again it really is just taking mm. cooking to the next level and making it easy and making it fun and you can do so many things so yes it's the holiday season we're thinking about baking we're thinking about families coming over we're thinking about that but right after the holidays is football and then it's spring flings and then it's summertime fun and then we're back to fall harvest so it really is that year round just staple year round in your kitchen year after year year decade after year <laughs> after decade we have heard from people who have, yes. have had their kitchen aid for 65 years yes. oh my god it's a lifetime no kidding so if you can beat that let us know yes. if you can we'd beat love to hear from years, you because we've heard on, 50, on facebook 40 no. mm -hmm. um 57, but 65 is the highest. So if you can so, beat it, we want to know. Wrap your head around that. I'm going to wrap my fork around a little bit more of this pulled hey, pork you while do we it. take a little bit of a break. And then we're going to come back. We're going to bake cakes and cookies and meatloaf and uh, so much more. Please stay in the ordering process and come on back. This is KitchenAid. Oh, this is so good. It's Let HSN be your personal shopper this holiday season. Join us as our hosts share their holiday faves. Catch our hottest deals, coolest offers, and special surprises. Holiday Host Faves starts Friday at midnight on HSN. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. Food is my obsession. Cooking is my life. And with hsn.com, it's never been easier to turn a boring dish into BAM. Discover online cooking demonstrations to help you spice it up in the kitchen. I'll teach you how to become a better chef with my key cooking tools. And how to create incredible tasty meals full of flavor. Who wouldn't love you for that? Explore, watch, and shop all of our top chefs at hsn.com. Bam! Sorry, Emerald. And you can find everything you need for the holidays right here on HSN, like these beautiful holidays. It was nothing. Want to find your Mary? Shop HSN. You are looking at our best value of the day, our best value in three years on the number one best-selling brand of stand mixers in the entire world from KitchenAid. We have our today's special, and boy, is it special. Can we go back over, and because I want to show them the colors, and I want to show you what comes with our today's special. We are down to the final four colors in a few minutes. We're going to be down to three. We have sold out of five colors already, and frankly, two-thirds of our entire quantity that we brought in it's completely sold out. You need to be ordering now. If you want the stainless steel, or if you want that aqua in the front, those, the aqua is gonna sell out this presentation. I have six dozen left till that goes. And the stainless steel, we have just over 700 now. We have sold, I think, a couple of thousand of that in and of itself. So again, almost four, I think 4,000 sold. 
We have the final 2,000 to go around for the rest of the day. It's because what you're looking at is not just another KitchenAid. We haven't been able to bring you a Today's Special as a KitchenAid for three years. It's been that long. So we brought you not just another KitchenAid, their Commercial Pro brand. This one is the one you want because of the power, 575 watts, the capacity, 6 quart capacity, and a little lever on the side, which means you never have to raise that top again to get the beaters off or change the beaters or any, never raise it again because there's a little lever on the side that, that raises and lowers the bowl. It is brilliant, a brilliant design. Look at the value though. If you go and just buy, just buy the KitchenAid mixer, this, the, the commercial, the pro style, okay? $550. So we're starting with the $200 savings and then adding in that flex edge beater, another $50 value. You're saving $250 today. You're go also gonna get your paddle beater, you're gonna get your dough hook, and you're going to get the... The flex edge, okay. So all of all of those included, but saving two hundred fifty dollars. We expect every one of these to sell out today, guys. Like I said, five colors gone. About to lose that aqua very soon now, and it will be I followed. I think the stainless steel is going to fall is going to sell out right after that. That's the one you're looking yeah, at right here. So they are so beautiful, and they they really are. These are they are made to last. What are um, KitchenAid's mottos is make to stand out. So it really just inspires you to whatever you're doing, make mm -hmm. it to stand out because the KitchenAid is there to help you to his assist you to do that heavy work for you. So I wanna show you the difference between, like you said, a tilt head and a bowl lift. A bowl lift has this lever on the side. My bowl, you'll Love see this. it drop down. My bowl comes up, drop down and come up. So if it is under your counter, you don't have to pull it out in order to lift the top. Mm -hmm. The bowl drops down. I have so much space on the side to add. Even when my bowl is up, I have so much space on the side to add. And again, it's that six quart stainless steel bowl. There's that comfort grip right there. And then our power hub, it's universal from 1919. Any attachment that you have will fit into any KitchenAid stand mixers, which I love. The bowl lift is made to do those heavy loads. So if you are baking lots of cakes, lots of cookies, um, this can do it. So I have a full cake mix in here of a spiced pumpkin cake, and I'm going to add a second entire cake. So I start with just a regular box cake. And I add, this is my secret ingredient, I think, for everything, is instant pudding. <laughs> so I add my instant pudding, and then I'm gonna add my eggs, my oil, my pumpkin, and my uh, sour cream. Now, I've got two entire cakes in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take it up to the next level, and I'm gonna <laughs> add a third cake. Wow. So if you're making, I mean, this could make like 100 cupcakes in one batch. Save yourself time, save yourself, you know, the wear, the wear and tear on your hands and she your wrists is. and just let the KitchenAid do it. So another instant pudding and then of course I'm gonna add my eggs, oil, pumpkin and uh, sour cream in here. And the KitchenAid is gonna do all the work for me. And look at that, there's still space in there. And you, you can, can add a whole nother cake mix if you wanted. Just the most beautiful. Look at how pretty that is. You. Oh, thank, thank you. You're welcome, Alice. We did that just for you. <laughs> but look at that, and everything is in the bowl, and it's so easy, and it's gonna mix everything up for you so beautifully. So um, KitchenAid is known for what's called planetary action, and planetary action, I know that's not a normal word that we use, but you'll see the actual beater is moving clockwise, but the KitchenAid mixer is moving the beater counterclockwise. So it's hitting 67 points on the bowl. Well, what does that mean for us? It, what it means is that this stand mixer is going to mix everything in your bowl more thoroughly, more evenly than you can do yourself, than you can do with a handheld mixer, than you can do with a spoon. It's going to evenly distribute anything you put in the bowl and get it all mixed and combined so thoroughly better than you could ever do yourself. I mean, with look at it. It's, it's silky smooth already. Three cake mixes, it could easily yeah. handle another Three. one. Three, but look how, look how beautiful that is. But you know, this is. is the difference. You don't have to raise this thing up and then the batter, the, the beater's always dripping. 
all over. Yep. It makes a big mess. Instead, you just lower it, and then you can remove that beater, and it's so much better. The design is better. The power is better. This is commercial quality. That's why you buy this one today, and you buy it because you're saving $250, and you're getting KitchenAid, which means you're going to have it not year after year, but decade, decade. after decade. <laughs> And like we've been talking about those stories, like the passing down, my, my mm -hmm. grandmother's, you know, she had hers and then it went to my Aunt Peggy's, Aunt Peggy, who it's still running. And so, you know, all my aunts are trying to pick out their colors and my sister's like, well, I want this, I want the, you know. <laughs> and my Aunt Peggy's like, well, um, how come I got mom's and mom's is still running? <laughs> you know, so she's like, do I get a new one? Yes, pass it down to your daughters, pass it down to your granddaughters, your grandsons, and then get yourself a new one. Again, that power hub, whatever attachments you have, it's gonna work because from 19 19 that has not changed so anything will fit in there so I want to show you how evenly this mixes this is my roll icing I'm using the wire whip that you're getting um, in there and I want to show you how thoroughly and quickly this is going to incorporate all of that food coloring in there all of that green color to make my entire icing perfectly green mm. without me having to stir without me having to do any work I just turn it on and I step aside and I let the kitchen aid do the work and you know it there's there's no vibration. This oh, no. thing is still as as you can imagine. The power, the quality, all metal construction. It's KitchenAid. There's a reason why it is the number one best-selling brand of stand mixers in the world. I mean, we're not just talking about, uh, well, in the southeastern part of the United States or the entire <laughs> United States or the whole continent of North Mer America. We're talking about the entire globe, the planet. This is the best-selling stand mixer. You want the best of the best though. You want the commercial quality. You want that lever that raises and lowers the bowl. And you want the fact that the power you get from this, the capacity, six quart capacity, get get the one that yeah. really is going to be going to be the one for pulled pork and for ground chicken and Three for making cakes. meatballs. <laughs> it's, it's not just for baking a cake or cookies. This is for everything. This is for everything. And this is what, if you were to go to a really nice restaurant or bakery, this is the kind of mixture, this is the pro. This is what they're using. Look how amazing that frosting is. And it's all perfectly oh, the same shade goodness. of green. I want to lick the and whisk. I, right? I don't oh think, my gosh. I think that's illegal, isn't is it? Is it? I won't tell anybody. <laughs> 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 but look, that's how thorough it's going to mix and blend all of your ingredients. Again, whether you're doing savory or sweet, this the KitchenAid is going to do the work. And again, I want to show you one more time. This is a six-quart bowl, but I've got this beautiful comfort grip handle on there. I can easily hold it. It's got a nub in the back. So this is the difference between the tilt head and the bowl. Yeah, is the that I'm going to stick it right in here. On the side, there's like two handles. I put them in the peg, just like that, very easy. And all I do is push down and lock in place. Now, the arms are hugging that stainless steel bowl. So you can do the eight pounds of potatoes, the eight pounds eight of dough. Pounds eight pounds of eight, potatoes. Right? And I'm gonna this. do it for you. Yeah. Eight pounds of dough. <laughs> 13 dozen cookies. And then all you do is you pick whatever beater you want to use. You put it in there. And then this little lever on the side. That's the magic. That's it. And it locks right in place. I'll do that again for you to see. Look. Down, up locked into place, then I can turn it on, soft start to it so it kind of eases into it, have up to 10 speeds, all metal construction. This really is just, it's like the Mac Daddy of the Mac Daddy. It is, <laughs> again, you're gonna see other kitchen aids out there. This is the one that you are going to want because of the power, the capacity. Don't just don't just buy it and go, okay, well I can just bake cookies with it. You know, the, the price difference is not gonna be worth it. This is commercial quality. This is six quart capacity and most importantly this is your little lift right over here and it's so simple and easy to do everybody's going to be able to do this this is magic because now i don't have to lift this thing up anymore and struggle with that so for 349.99 even if you've had a kitchen aid in the past 
update and upgrade today. This is an upgrade for you that will do everything. And even when we're talking about, you know, again, I think a lot of people think of, of stand mixers and it's for baking and soft mm -hmm. stuff and flour. We're talking about in here, making meatloaf in here. Yes, I'm gonna make, so I'm gonna start my mashed potatoes. So this is my Aunt Becky's trick. Yippee. With the mashed potatoes is that she does eight pounds. Eight pounds eight of potatoes. Eight pounds I of potatoes. I want everybody, you know, in your head, just picture going to the store and picking up a 10 pound bag of potatoes and taking a couple out, all right? And then putting Just the rest couple. of them in there. <laughs> the rest, eight pounds, not eight potatoes, eight pounds of potatoes. Eight That's pounds of potatoes. Nuts. And then I've got my butter, I've got my sour cream, I've got my cream cheese and I've got salt and pepper. And then I'm just gonna lift my bowl. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to walk away. I'm gonna give it a little soft start for a second. Actually, I'm gonna use And again, my... you know, she's putting in full sticks of butter. It's not, I gotta, cu I gotta cut it up into little teeny tiny pieces. Just pop it in there. Potatoes go in, the butter goes in. You know, this is again, professional, commercial oh my gosh, quality. Yeah. And I like to use my pour shield. You saw me just kind of stop and add that on quick. I love to use the pour I shield just when I'm gonna turn it on and walk away because then I don't even have to look back and worry. But while my potatoes are getting to the perfectly creamy perfection, I'm gonna do my meatloaf. Now, one thing I don't love about with making meatloaf or meatballs is having to put your hands in there mm -hmm. and get your hands all in the mix. One and thing your if you're- your nails. It takes forever to get that stuff out of your nails. And if you have a father like mine, that he's a germaphobe, that does not, <laughs> That doesn't fly in our right. house. <laughs> so I can add all my ingredients in here. And I love, if you can see, I had the bowl up. When the bowl is down, you have so much room on the side to add whatever it is that you need to add to your bowl. But even when the bowl is lifted, you still have so much room on the sides to add whatever it is you need to add. So I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. I'm gonna get my Worcestershire in here. And then I'm gonna turn this on. And again, I don't have to get my hands messy. I don't have to, have to put my hands in the meat. I'm just going to let the kitchen aid yeah. do all of the so work So amazing. All right. I just, by the way, as soon as you order this, then you're going to, because we, we are doing something really cool, which is as soon as you spend $75 here on, on anything. Okay. But when you buy our today's special, you check that box, right? You will get free shipping and handling on anything and everything else you order all day long. It's one of my favorite promotions we have ever done. So spend $75, free shipping and handling, even if it goes into your basket and it has shipping and handling on it, as soon as you get to the $75 level, bam, disappears. So when you order this today, free shipping and handling on everything else you order. But here's the thing, we are now down to how many in the aqua? Okay, aqua, I have the final three dozen Ooh. in the aqua that is definitely gonna sell out. Um, in the stainless steel, oh my God, I have 570. Oh. How many did we start with? I mean, we started, we started with 1,400. So basically two thirds of that is sold out. Two thirds of our entire quantity of our today's special is sold out. This is the moment that you can't wait any longer. If you've been considering this, then definitely make your choice now because we're gonna be down by the end of this presentation to possibly, possibly two, maybe three colors. And that's it. And this is the moment you can't wait any longer oh, for. Oh no, I Look, can't. <laughs> I just have, I have to take this off and show you. Look at these mashed potatoes. They are so creamy and so delicious and again, Eight pounds of potatoes. I'm getting Eight all ready potatoes, back here. <laughs> butter, sour cream, and cream cheese, salt and pepper. And I did not have to do a thing other than put everything in the bowl. And the KitchenAid does it all for me and I get to take the credit. It, but, the only oh thing it doesn't do is put it in my, in but my bowl. But there's, it's like there's still room in there. Eight <laughs> pounds of potatoes in the shirt. Help okay. yourself. I'll just take that. <laughs> I, was, I, I just, love <laughs> mashed potatoes. Okay. I was gonna Let take me, that. There's a nice spoon for you. This is a you. big spoon. All right, we'll just get Whether nice you like the skin on them or not. I like the skin on because I kind of like I do that too. rustic I, I look I like of the it. texture of that. I like oh, the I'm texture sorry, and the gonna, rustic look. You know, might Please as well do. just go ahead and... But so soft and so creamy. And again, look you just that. get to walk away okay. and enjoy time with your I'm family. Lift and the spoon. That's, what my, that's what my son does. <laughs> I, I make these, of course, I don't make eight pounds of them, but I, you know, make them for my son. My son is two. Forget and he'll just sit on the counter. Oh, with the spoon. <laughs> with the spatula and he'll just eat right out of the bowl. It's just so delicious. And again, where can I find this recipe? So this recipe, I it's don't, so you know, good. we don't have it printed anywhere, but I'll just tell you really quickly. It's a mm. secret. So don't tell anyone. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you can use, so in here we have eight pounds of potatoes, butter, sour cream, oh and cream cheese, and salt and pepper to taste, <laughs> however you like it. No if you want to add a little chives on top, you can, but mm. that is what's in there, and it is just... It's heaven. And it's um, no calories, it's so thank goodness. Yeah, none at all. <laughs> you don't have to feel bad. But I love, mm. what I love is that mm -hmm. it's just such mm. a beautiful texture Whoa. that you get from this without really having to do any work other than oh, just putting good. it in the bowl. And again, my Aunt Becky, she's my other mother. My Aunt Becky, this is her trick that she does. Thank and you, my, Aunt Becky. Yes, thank you, Aunt Becky. And my grandmother, Grandma Garten, she, she was the queen of mashed potatoes. And I would have given anything to have her have this KitchenAid. Imagine oh, her putting that out her magic. at Thanksgiving. Oh my God! If if my guy Rich were there, uh, it would never make it to the yeah. table. <laughs> you just there. eat it on the on the way. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I, I love that. But so moving on. So we're you know we have that. We, of course we're making mashed potatoes for our holidays, for you know Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, all that stuff. But just think Sunday, Sunday fun day. You know, if you don't watch sports, it's just Sunday fun day. If you do watch sports, it's football Sunday. I'm gonna make some yummy, yummy guac. Well, you're making that, which is perfect. Yes. I gotta give you another update, guys, no, okay? We're it's about gone to now. lose the aqua. <laughs> the aqua is going to sell out in the next couple of minutes. I have two dozen, so two dozen left. But here's what's really, I mean, almost surprising. But this has been, this, the stainless steel has been our best seller on the day. And we have already sold, the, of, of the quantity we came in to this hour with, we have sold half of it. <gasps> wow. So how many left now? 500 left in the silver, oh, okay? Wow. So well over two thirds of our quantity gone. <coughs> Excuse me. Those potatoes are really, are really good. I think I'm gonna have to go get some more. If you want it in the stainless steel, this may not make another presentation, okay? We may be down to two colors, which is the Empire Red and the Passion Red by our next presentation. So please, if you're thinking about it, again, last call on the Aqua and almost last call now on the stainless steel. And the Empire Red, or sorry, the Passion Red is exclusive to HSN. So you won't find that anywhere else. It's like a else. cherry red. I love that. It's so sweet. It's kind of sweet. Yeah. Like a sweetheart candy. So I'm doing my guacamole in here and you can make it, you know, if you want like your guacamole a little <clears> smoother, <throat> then just go a little longer. If you do like to have it a little chunkier, then you know, you can stop sooner. I do want to talk about, you're getting four beaters with this. So you're not just getting one, two, three, but we're adding that fourth flex edge beater. And that's like a windshield wiper. So when you're using this, it's going across and it's scraping the sides of your bowl so beautifully. The flat beater, the dough hook and the flex edge beater are all coated so you can put these in your dishwasher and then of course you're getting that wire whip so you're getting four different beaters the wire whip we don't put in our dishwasher so now i've made my guacamole it's so easy to, to i feel like to um to work with the kitchenaid i just love it i'm going to take that beater out that was my flat beater I'm gonna easily pull my bowl, six quart stainless steel, and look at that amazing guacamole that I'm gonna plate for you. And you can just grab a chip and dip and enjoy life. But you know, how beautiful is that? And you know how right, much you would pay for that guac, at a restaurant too? Absolutely, to, like to, to do table it at your side. Table? Can yeah, you imagine to do table having side over? guac. And, and not only that, you know, when, when you buy guac at the store, Read what all's in it. You know, the, all the preservatives and everything else, they put in a lot of sodium, you know. Do it yourself. Yep. You can do it yourself. It's effortless, it's easy, but the results. This gives you the results that you want. That's what's so different about KitchenAid. You know, you can do so, the, the things that you're gonna be able to do with this are endless and you will do it for years and years. What you're looking at at $349.99 for something that you will have, in, in some cases people have had for 60 years for heaven's sakes, but you're getting commercial quality with this one. You are getting the power to be able to do your meatloaves and everything else. That's the nice part about what we're giving you. It's not just their lowest end. It's not just, well, it's a nice kitchen aid. This is one of their top of the line to be able to give that to you after three years of not being able to bring you a kitchen aid today's special. The commercial quality, 
the fact that this is a lift design, so you never have to pull this up. It doesn't pull up. This doesn't move. This does. So all you do is drop it down. It is effortless. It is easy. And now you're going to be able to access everything much quicker and much easier. Everything about this design. And then there's the capacity. Eight pounds of potatoes you can make in this thing. Eight pounds of mashed potatoes at one time. So invest in something that really is gonna make such a difference. Yes, we're in the holiday food season. For, for most of us, holidays are about food. The memories that we keep with us throughout our life, it's about food. It's about, for example, you know, for me, it's about my dad's meatballs. It's the way that he would, um, Italian um, meat, uh, yep. meatloaf mm -hmm. is very different. Some people put mortadella in it and it gives it just a whole different flavor. There are so many things that you're gonna be able to do to make those memories with your family, but make them where they taste great. Oh my and gosh, And they come yeah. out well because you have used the right tools. Absolutely, the, the right tool. And the KitchenAid Sandwicher is that right tool. Again, like you're talking about, you know, your father's, fit, you know, your things that you remember that your dad mm -hmm. made. And for me, it's like, I remember the angel food cake that my grandmother made and I, did, and I didn't know the story. I didn't know that she was afraid to make angel food cake until she got her KitchenAid. Then she felt the confidence, like I can do this. I can really bake this amazing, beautiful cake because I have the tools to do it. So it gives you that confidence to take on the recipes that you might not, you know, think I can take on. I've got um, right. some uh, some egg whites here. So I'm gonna make a meringue. Now meringue can be very scary also because you have to aerate it. You've gotta get the air, you all better be to like really, really lift it up. So mm -hmm. either you're gonna be getting the workout or you still have to mm -hmm. hold that hand mixer and hold it there for such a long time to I really- I gotta try your guac. Oh, I, Sorry, that's okay. While Texas you were girl. talking, I, I was eating. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love mm. some guac, but it's so beautiful too. But, and so I've got my, uh, my egg whites in here. I'm gonna show you the meringue, uh, how to just make it so beautiful with this. So I'm gonna just turn it on. It's got that slow start again. I've got my wire whip in here. And then I'm gonna get it going and speed it up. And I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna do a little dance and I'm just gonna let it do the work. But instantly you already see all of that air getting in there and lifting it up and aerating it so I will have the most beautiful meringue. Looks like clouds. Oh, right, it's just like a puffy, light, beautiful, lovely cloud. All right, Miss Amy, I have to give you another update. We have now sold out of the turquoise. <gasps> Aqua Sky, my favorite. We, I'm sorry, I said turquoise, it's Aqua Sky. That is completely sold out now. So we've sold out of six colors. I'm down to the final three. And frankly, the stainless steel is selling so quickly. I think we have just over 400 now. Okay, my producer's saying that's gonna sell out, oh. that, it, that this is gonna be the last time you see it. So you can't wait if you want the stainless. The other colors we have are gonna be, right in front of me is gonna be the Empire Red. It's a little bit deeper, darker. The other color, I'm gonna walk over here, it just really, is the Passion Red. We have 340 now, if you want it in the passion red. So this actually could be the next to sell out, although I think it will, it will be the stainless steel that sells out next. Passion red, it is exclusive here. It is like a cherry red, a lipstick red, really bright and beautiful. So those are the three colors that we have oh. remaining now, but again, stainless steel, we expect this to be the final presentation. Oh my God, Alice, look how Look, look look at that big light. It's like I, think I have it's my own float little away. cloud right here <laughs> of goodness. So your meringue, you can do that. You can do all of those recipes that would either be so taxing on your hands and your wrists or just having to hold a hand mixer. You can do all those recipes and not feel like it's not gonna turn out well. You know it's gonna turn out well mm -hmm. because that is what the kitchen aid does. It aids you with all of those recipes. It aids you with everything in the kitchen. Again, that's how it got its name is the executive took it home and his wife said, said to him, she said, I don't care what you call it. It is the best kitchen aid I've ever had. And again, it ch I feel like it changed my grandmother's confidence in her baking. But I wanna walk down, if you don't mind, I just wanna kinda show you what we've done today mm -hmm. because we have, really thinking outside the box of just baking and just cookies, but we've done so much. So your meringues with the wire whip, which you're getting, so you're getting four beaters. The guacamole, which I did with just the flat beater. 
and you get to make beautiful guacamole. Eight pounds of potatoes. <laughs> Eight pounds. Yes, Throw it all in the you bowl. You had me. Turn at, it on. At potatoes. And walk away. Of course, the meatloaf. Save your hands from getting dirty. Anybody might have any germ issues. We did the meatloaf. And then, of course, I did my royal icing right here. Oh, and by the way, you can get these beautiful cookie sheet pans. They're 13 by 18. Right. They're extra large. We have and those available. And it comes with a cookie scoop. These are amazing. So if you're making cookies, you're going to want to uh, get on these KitchenAid cookie sheets. They are just amazing. And they come with the scoop too. Come with the cookie scooper in yeah. colors black and red. And of course I have three cakes in here. <laughs> three full cake mixes, pumpkin spice cake mixes. So if I need to make a hundred cupcakes, if I need to make three bun cakes, whatever I need to make, three full cakes went in here so easily. I did the pulled pork. So yes, think beyond just the baking. Pulled pork, which it, it did the job for me. I just have my nice moist warm, warm pork in here. I added some barbecue sauce. You could put some extra seasoning if you want to spice it up. And then I plate it and I walk away and take the credit for that beauty right there. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, dough, don't forget you are getting that spiral dough hook. This is a powerhouse because it really replicates what your hands are doing needing, but taking that you know weight and that work off your hands and wrists. And then you get the most perfect dough, whether you're making focaccia, bread, pasta, whatever it is. I have to show you here one more time. This is my grandmother's um, secret recipe. It's an angel food cake box mix. <laughs> it doesn't get any easier than that. Right. And water, and that's it. But, but it's not easy if you don't have the right right mixer that gives you the power right. to really put that air into it. To get it. the air in it. So what the KitchenAid is going to do, and like I said, my grandmother was afraid to make this for my grandfather, and it's his favorite cake, but she just wanted it to be perfect. And this mixer will aerate this so beautifully. You're going to see this mix up so nice, and you're going to see it raised that you're going to have the lightest fluffiest. Because I really think I have growing to tell up, your dip. oh please try this, so delicious. <laughs> That, that was the, the test. Like, if you're angel food cake, it was the, had to be the tallest. It had to be the fluffiest. Wow. That was the goal that you went for. And then top it off with some homemade whipped topping and some strawberries, and you will have the most delicious cake. But look at that angel food cake just rise in there. So you know you're going to get light, fluffy, delicious cake that I would never be able to mix with my hands. I mean, I get it. I get now why my grandmother felt that way, that she just...